What is going on warriors and farmers of Tamaris? I am back again with another Call of Dragons video. Today we're gonna be doing the spin for the Zeta. She is finally on the wheel and we're gonna spin all the way up to 100. We're beginning the video by showing you what we have so far. We have zero tokens for Zeta. We have about six universals. So let us see what we get today. Hopefully I don't get destroyed. Now Zeta is one of the most powerful archers in Call of Dragons. You don't wanna miss out on unlocking this hero. Make sure you get her as soon as possible. First thing you gotta do is make sure you get your tickets from the Pluto Mall. Go to the PlutoMall.com, get some dragon tickets, come and buy stuff from here. The Pluto Mall is gonna give you like 10% extra value. So when you spend to buy those dragon tickets, you're gonna get 10% extra value, which is some good stuff. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna do the spin for the Zeta. Let's see how many we have. We are guaranteed a 10 spot within 31 spin. Let's see if we can get it before that. I have about 110 tickets. I'm only going to use 100. I'll save the 10 for the next spin, which should be in one week from today. Let's see how this is going to go down. Hopefully we don't get destroyed. So this is the first set of five spins. Did we get any token? I think I missed it. I think we got one. Okay, there you go. Looks like we got two tokens and some speed ups. Not so bad. Gonna use those speed ups to train some more archers. Just move one more to the left. I could have got the 10 spot. Let's see. Are we gonna get it now or are we gonna wait? 30 more spins. Zeta is another overpowered commander to be added in the game. Generation number three. She can do some crazy damage. 80% normal attack damage with, ju with just the first skill. That is a lot. You can put her behind Syndrion and get so much damage on the field and against Behemoth. It's awesome. The main plan is to pair her with Zeta. I mean with Magrat. Craig's grandma or Craig's mom. These two are gonna work together. They're gonna do some crazy damage. Let's get those tokens. I haven't gotten the 10 spot yet. We have done, I think, 20 spins already. Let's see how long it's going to take to get the 10 spot. Are we going to get it? We just missed it. And there you go. After 21 spins, we get the 10 spot. This is awesome. It means we are guaranteed one more. I hope I get more than two 10 spots. That's going to be good. Help the hero get upgraded as fast as possible. I believe the best configuration for Zeta should be 5-5 five, five, and then 1-1 one, one first. Make sure you get her to 5-5 five, five before you unlock the other two skills. The second skill for Zeta is just for boosting Magrat. I think it is 20% more healing and 10% damage dealt, which is some good stuff. It can also help with counter attack because of that 10% damage dealt. I think it's one of the most important skills so far. I plan on using Zayda with the Sun Lizard because she she's going to boost the Sun Lizard healing by 20% with the second skill. And that's going to give you sustainability, make you last for a very long time on the field and do more damage in the process. That is the plan for now. The Night Rock is another good option. I think you will be able to trigger the ability every 10 seconds for the Night Rock. It's going to give you some crit rate and you might need the Super Ravage to get more damage, which is very difficult to get. However, I think the Sun Lizard is the best for Zeta right now because every 6 seconds you're going to be healing and when you heal, you're going to trigger the second ability for Magrat. Yep, that's going to give her 40% physical attack damage dealt. It's some good stuff. So the Sun Lizard is the way to go. Plus, you can use the Sun Lizard to heal your other legions as well. It is awesome. I'm going to show you guys my Sun Lizard when we're done the spinning. How many have we done so far? About 41. We've gotten 110 spots. Are we going to get another one before the 50? That would be nice. It could guarantee three 10 spots or three premiums.
looks like we're getting some good speed ups no complaints over there the stars are also awesome I'm gonna use them to push the star level of the hero all the way up to six stars yep it's time to skip the animation all the way to the end let's see what we get i know i am guaranteed one more 10 spot and here we got it we have about 30 spins left i'm gonna be saving 10 for the next week i think next week we're gonna get another wheel that's gonna be awesome we are at 85 right now will we get another 10 spot okay we got some speed ups that's not bad and here we got three Zeta, one Universal, excellent. One Universal, two Universal, one Zeta, and some training speed ups. That is good. So we have hit the 100 spot. Now it's time to claim these extra rewards. Gonna get all of them. And then next week, do the exact same thing. I will be applying all the Universals onto Margaret, and then stuff from the wheel goes to Zeta. The plan is to max out Zeta first, and then max out Margaret. Hopefully I can get her maxed out before the next season. So here we go boys, we got 76 tokens. Not too bad, would have been nice to get maybe 85. And then we got 24 universals. Again, not bad, some good stuff. Let's push up the skills and then go check out the Warpet. By the way, I got the one star Sun Lizard today. Now I have four scales to upgrade my sun lizard to the next level it's gonna be a two star we're gonna see that in a bit first of all we push the star level all the way up to two unlock the second skill i think this is the best way to go just get the hero to five something before you unlock the other two if you have the patience you can push this one all the way up to five get healing received bonus of 20 percent and damage dealt of 10 percent I think it's going to be very, very useful. Okay, so this is Zeta. I have gotten her to 5-2. And we take a look at the Margaret. She is 5-5-1. Five, five, the plan is to get her to 5-5-5 five, 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 and then eventually max her out. Alright, Warriors of Tamaris, let's check out the Sun Lizard. We're going to take this one to 2 stars. This is the pet that I'm going to be using with Zeta and Margaret. The good thing is I also got the hasty stone aura at the end of the season. So that's going to make this sun lizard heal every 4 seconds. I just need to reroll the attributes to get maybe 270 agility. That way I can bring down the cooldown to 4 seconds. So we're going to apply the hasty stone aura. It's a 3 star. Push it in the middle. Make sure I don't swap out the wrong one and there we go guys the pet is complete so this is it i think i'm gonna make another video checking out the difference between the uh stone aura and the ravage to see which one is best and that's it for the video guys thank you guys for watching if you're new subscribe for more content i think i'm gonna put this chain strike and then i'm gonna put a wild chain strike no, not wild chain strike. Gonna put the steadfast chain strike at the end and then see how that's going to affect the performance of these two heroes. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new, subscribe for more content. Until then, talk to you guys in the next one. Bye bye for now.